Welcome back to Space Weather News, your daily source for all things space weather related. If you enjoy our videos, please consider showing your support by subscribing to the channel. Hey, space weather fans! We've got a new t-shirt available now. Check out the link in the description to get yours today. The Northern Lights, or Aurora Borealis, are a natural phenomenon that have fascinated people for centuries. They occur when charged particles from the sun, known as the solar wind, interact with the Earth's magnetic field, resulting in a spectacular display of light and color in the night sky. One of the most intriguing aspects of the northern lights is their connection to the equinoxes. Researchers have observed that the northern lights tend to be more active during the equinoxes, which occur in March and September. This phenomenon is known as the Russell M. C. Ferron effect, named after two scientists who first discovered the relationship between the equinoxes and aurora activity. The Russell M. C. Ferron effect occurs during the equinoxes when the Earth's magnetic field weakens, allowing solar wind particles to enter the Earth's atmosphere more easily. This can cause a surge in aurora activity, resulting in more frequent and intense northern lights displays. The effect was first observed by Dr. David Russell and Dr. Robert McFerrin, both researchers at the University of California, Los Angeles, in the early 1970s. The Earth's magnetic field is like a shield that protects us from the solar wind. During the equinoxes, the Earth's magnetic field is tilted relative to the sun, which can cause cracks to form in the field, allowing the solar wind particles to enter the Earth's atmosphere and create the northern lights. The Russell M. C. Ferron effect is most pronounced during the spring equinox in March, when the tilt of the Earth's magnetic field is more aligned with the solar wind. The northern lights are always present in the polar regions, but they tend to be more active during the equinoxes. Other factors that can influence aurora activity include solar activity, the strength of the solar wind, and the location of the auroral oval, which is the region where the northern lights are most visible. As we approach the spring equinox in March, sky watchers and aurora enthusiasts can look forward to a potential increase in aurora activity. Even a weak stream of solar wind can penetrate the weakened magnetic field during this time and spark a good display of the northern lights. Observing the northern lights is a breathtaking experience that is well worth the effort. While the best places to see them are typically in the polar regions, such as Alaska, Norway, and Iceland, technology has made it easier to see the northern lights from the comfort of your own home. Live Aurora webcams and social media pages provide real-time updates on Aurora activity and can give you a glimpse of the beauty of the northern lights. Thank you for tuning into Space Weather News. If you found this segment informative and enjoyable, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more fascinating space weather content. By doing so, you'll never miss out on the latest updates and information from us. Also, feel free to leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts on the Russell M. C. Ferron effect or any other topics you would like us to cover in the future. Thank you again for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more exciting space weather news in our next segment.